Hello, my name is Gabo Halmai. I'm a professor of comparative constitutional law at the European University Institute in Florence. And I'm the project director of the trial program, which I'm uh, about to introduce. Uh, trial is an abbreviation of trust, independence, impartiality, and accountability of judges, arbitrators, safeguarding the rule of law under the fundamental rights charter of the EU. The project is supported by the European Union's justice program and conducted at the EUI by the Center of Judicial Cooperation within the Robert Schuman Center. Let me start my short presentation about the needs of these projects. The very title of the project starts with trust. Mutual trust is one of the basic uh, principles of the EU. With the presumption of shared common values, including the rule of law, including judicial independence, impartiality, and accountability. This mutual trust enables the cooperation within member states of the European Union. Where systematic deficiencies uh, within the rule of law and judicial independence occur in national uh, legal systems, within national judicial uh, systems, trust cannot be any more uh, a guiding principle of the EU's rule of law uh, mechanism. As you may know, such kind of deficiencies, especially regarding uh, judicial independence, but other elements of the rule of law are happening uh, as we speak within certain member states of the European Union, especially in Hungary and Poland, but also in Romania or Bulgaria. The governments of those countries argue that actually the rule of law is not anymore a legal principle or value, but became a more political and ideological tool used against certain member states. They also argue that there are no objective criteria, uh, a workable definition of the rule of law, which could be used against those uh, member states. That the EU has no competencies whatsoever to force the compliance with the values of the rule of law, not to speak about sanction, those uh, backsliding member states. And finally, uh, the governments also argue that even if the rule of law could be a guiding value for member states to comply with, the economic community of the EU is not, not necessitates such kind of, of values to follow. There are also academic arguments uh, providing a kind of way out for those member states from complying with joint values. Those arguments goes by saying democracy, uh, the democratically elected government a government uh, in those member states give a certain kind of leeway for those governments to use their uh, national identity uh, and not following uh, joint uh, principles. So for this need, we aim at certain main objective of this project, especially raising awareness within 
member states within uh, national courts, arbitrators, lawyers, prosecutors, and other civil servants working in those member states. Improving their ability uh, to promote the values of rule of law, judicial independence, and also fostering uh, national cross-sectoral cooperation within the member states, courts, arbitrators, prosecutors, and other uh, practitioners. And finally, these, all these objectives serve the building of the trust, the mutual trust, I was talking about uh, the legitimacy of the system uh, overseeing the principles and values within the rule of law uh, framework and also fostering dialogue within the legal practitioners about the independence and accountability of the judiciary. The main activities within this uh, project are as follows. We aim at uh, organizing uh, personal and online training programs in all in our uh, partner member states within their uh, judiciary with, with judges prosecutors, other legal practitioners. During these trainings, we also aim at collecting and development training tools. Uh, we also aim to, to increase interaction between legal practitioners from the various member states. We are aiming at producing national reports on, on the case law provided by our partners on, on the national level, producing uh, as one of the final uh, uh, product of the project, a case book on the application of the Charter of Fundamental Rights of the EU, and also updating the current uh, REACH database of the Center for Judicial Cooperation within the EUI. And uh, one of the final results of the, of the uh, project will be in concluding a conference, hopefully in person uh, at the EUI premises in uh, Florence. So what we are hoping to achieve as expected result as a consequence of this, this project is certainly an increased ability of legal professionals to promote the values of rule of law, especially judicial independence uh, uh, and accountability, impartiality. Uh, also an increased uh, cross-sectoral cooperation within the member states among legal practitioners like judges, prosecutors, arbitrators, but also increase a transnational interaction uh, among all those legal practitioners in various member states. So finally, I would like to invite all of the legal practitioners in our partner member states to get involved in our national and transnational uh, workshops. Thank you very much for your attention.